Witam Was serdecznie z Mulheim, z Tradaku, firmy prowadzonej przez Birgera Schaeffermajera, gdzie wraz z grupą polskich traderów jesteśmy na niesamowitym kampie inwestycyjnym, gdzie od poniedziałku do piątku Birger uczy swoich technik inwestycyjnych. Co więcej, nie dość, że uczy, to od razu pokazuje te techniki na żywym rynku, na żywym kapitale, gra kątem o wartości 1 miliona euro. Postanowiliśmy dla Was przygotować coś specjalnego. Birger ma swoje metody oczywiście, ale ma takiego asa w rękawie. Birger oczywiście oprócz tego, że inwestuje według jakichś swoich już utrwalonych schematów, zawsze wykorzystuje efekt przewagi rynkowej. Co to jest ten efekt przewagi rynkowej? Zapraszam Was na krótki wywiad jaki przeprowadziliśmy z Birgerem, pytając właśnie, co dokładnie pozwala mu na tym rynku zarabiać i skutecznie inwestować. Zapraszam. Ok, Birger, you are 24 years in this business. You always repeat traders, they should have, they should find some advantage on the market. Do you have an idea or can you tell us what is your advantage? Yeah, uh, my advantage is that I have some pretty nice strategies to identify good trends and I know how to enter these trends and how to follow these trends and uh, that's a big opportunity to make lots of money um, just by following trends. It's very easy to trade this way. Old strategy, follow the trend is your friend. Yeah, like. sure. It, yeah, it's, it's an easy saying and, and everybody is telling just follow the trend, but most of the traders don't do because they don't dare to, to, to follow a movement which maybe lasts for several days, but um, that's an easy way and uh, some strategies to identify this and to, to, to spot the trend and um, yeah, and I know how to enter a trend, what is a good way to enter a trend, so a safety way to enter the trend. Mm -hmm. Many beginners, uh, when they start doing this business, plot a lot of uh, stuff on the chart, like indicators. Um, probably it, they look for an advantage having yeah. indicators. Yeah. And do you use any? No, uh, indicators are not a huge edge. Yeah. People think indicators will make trading more safety and um, maybe the indicator could give them some information that what the market will doing but trading is more more or less more than reacting to the market than predicting it and no indicator can predict the market yeah? i'm now doing this job 24 years and still could not predict what will happen and i think nobody could predict and never um met anybody who um, was able to predict on long term the market. Yeah, maybe sometimes lucky um, hit yeah, that, that they were right for a few years or so, but um, nobody can predict this market and um, it's not necessary if you want to trade successfully. Yeah? And to trade successfully there are other secrets, but not predicting the market. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your um, loss-win ratio? Because uh, it shows you are 50-50, it means you are not right all the time on the market. But what is the secret behind it? Because uh, you still earn and uh, succeed yeah. in the market. So. Yeah, my hit rate is just 50%, so it looks like that, that I'm just guessing. But it's not true that I'm just guessing. But um, managing my, trend, um, my, my trades and managing my risk means that I'm using stop-loss order. And this stop-loss order, sometimes I'm kicked out even if the idea is good. But this doesn't matter. It's more important to be right than it's uh, to make... Um, it's, it's more important to, to have bigger gains than losses. So if I could earn on each dollar, I'm risking one dollar twenty. After my hit rate, um, and my, if, if my hit rate is fifty percent, I'm still make money. Yeah? <laughs> okay, um, you're trading one million euro account, and what would you recommend for beginners who do not have so big account but they still want to uh, make money for a living? Yeah. So, business, so if you if you have a smaller account, you could still start this trading business. And when I started, my first accounts were ten thousand Deutschmarks. So this is about five thousand euros. So I started really with some um, very small accounts. Um, but um, if you're trading small accounts, you should trade very defensive. You should trade some good strategies, and you need some strategies. You should not trading just gut feeling, or you should not just um, um, bad or so. You really should um, follow a good strategy and that's all. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay.